Nokia Mobile has launched its iconic Nokia 5310 feature phone in India at 3,399 rupees. The device is a refresh take on the classic design with dedicated controls for music. It features a 2.4-inch QVGA display, a 1200mAh battery and up to 32GB of expandable storage. The phone also gets a wireless FM radio, a built-in MP3 player, a 3.5mm headphone jack and front-facing speakers. Online sales for the Nokia 5310 start from June 23rd via Amazon India and Nokia's online store. Taiwanese electronics giant HTC is back and that too with its first 5G smartphone, the HTC U20 5G. It features a 6.8 inch Full HD Plus LCD display and a Snapdragon 765G chipset paired with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. The smartphone comes with a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup and a 32 megapixel selfie camera in a hole punch display. It runs Android 10, gets NFC connectivity and packs a beefy 5000mAh battery with 18 watt wired charging. The HTC U20 5G will be initially limited to Taiwan with no word on pricing and global availability yet. Alongside its first 5G smartphone, HTC has also added a new mid-ranger, the HTC Desire 20 Pro. The 4G smartphone features a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus display and a Snapdragon 665 chipset paired with 6GB RAM and 128GB storage. It comes with a 48-megapixel quad rear camera setup and a 25-megapixel selfie camera in a hole-punch display. The device is powered by Android 10 and gets a whopping 5000mAh battery. The HTC Desire 20 Pro will be launching in Taiwan on June 18th for roughly 23,000 rupees, but there's no word on global pricing and availability. Video game publisher Electronic Arts has announced Star Wars Squadrons, a first-person multiplayer space dog fighting game set in the Star Wars universe. Players get to step into the cockpits of legendary starfighters from both the New Republic and Imperial fleets and fight in strategic 5 vs 5 space battles. The game even lets you modify your starfighter and adjust the composition of your squadron to suit varying playstyles. Pilots must triumph as a team and complete tactical objectives across known and never before seen battlefields including the gas giants of Yavin Prime and the shattered moon of Galaton. Star Wars Squadrons will be available to play from October 2nd across PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. According to Indian news website Money Control, the Oppo Find X2 smartphone is expected to be priced between 60,000 and 65,000 rupees for the sold 12GB 256GB variant in India. Interestingly, a leaked Amazon listing of the Chinese phone maker's premium flagship device last month reportedly pegged the price at 69,990 rupees. Oppo is expected to unveil both the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro in India on June 17th with top-of-the-line specifications. Both the devices feature an impressive 120Hz 6.7-inch QHD Plus display, Snapdragon 865 chipsets with an integrated 5G modem, 12GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 65W SuperWoop 2.0 charging tech. Both also pack a 48MP triple rear camera setup but the Find X2 Pro has a 48MP Sony IMX586 ultra-wide shooter and a 13MP telephoto snapper that offers 5 times optical magnification, 10 times hybrid zoom and up to 60 times digital zoom. German audio brand Sennheiser has launched the Momentum True Wireless 2 earbuds in India. They are about 2mm smaller than their predecessors and feature active noise cancellation. Sennheiser's latest wireless buds also get an IPX4 splash resistance rating, 7mm dynamic drivers and Qualcomm APTX Bluetooth codec. In terms of battery life, the Momentum True Wireless 2 gives you up to 7 hours on the buds and up to 28 hours with the case. The Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 earbuds are priced at 24,990 rupees in India and they are now available to purchase via the company's online store. Samsung has launched the updated model of its Frame TV in India. The 2020 edition of Samsung's Frame TV will be available to purchase via Flipkart starting June 19th and will be available in three sizes, 50-inch, 55-inch and 65-inch for 74,990 rupees, 84,990 rupees and 1,39,990 rupees respectively. Early bird customers doing prepaid transactions in the first 48 hours of the sale on Flipkart for the frame using their credit cards and debit cards will get an additional instant cashback of up to 1500 rupees. 
The Frame TV is an upgrade to the 2019 model and offers QLED technology that enables beautiful colors, exceptional contrasts, and impeccable details with 100% color volume. Moreover, users can transform the TV into a picture frame that can show over 1000 artworks. The recently launched Samsung Galaxy M11 has gone on sale in India. The prices for the Galaxy M10s successor start at 10,999 rupees for the 3GB RAM 32GB storage variant. It features a 6.4-inch HD Plus Infinity O display and is powered by the Snapdragon 450 SoC coupled with up to 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The smartphone comes with a 13-megapixel triple rear camera setup, an 8-megapixel selfie snapper and an alive keyboard feature that features autocorrection, word completion and next word prediction in several Indian languages. There's also a 5000 mAh battery that supports 15-watt fast charging and a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. Audio equipment maker JBL has launched its quantum range of gaming headsets in India. The new range includes seven headset models, including options for both casual and competitive gamers from wired to wireless and at various price points. The JBL Quantum 300, 400, 600 and Quantum 800 feature the newest JBL Quantum surround sound technology powered by the JBL Quantum Engine PC software. JBL says this adds virtual height channels that replicate a much wider realistic spatial soundstage for next-generation cinematic game immersion. All headsets are fully compatible with any system including PC, Mac, Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. They also feature detachable boom microphones with echo cancelling technology for clear communication among team members. The JBL Quantum headphones will be available at a starting price of 3,999 rupees. JBL has launched its flagship Quantum One gaming headset in India almost five months after the audio equipment manufacturer announced it at CES 2020. This wired over ear unit comes with 50mm dynamic drivers, active noise cancellation, and the JBL Quantum Sphere 360 technology that takes gaming to a whole new level with its head tracking and surround sound feature. It gives a better sense of positioning in the virtual game world, be it gunfire, environmental hazard or enemy footsteps. It's also got a boom mic with echo cancellation tech and premium leather wrapped memory foam ear cushions like its other siblings. JBL's Quantum Engine PC software lets users tune audio profiles and manage head tracking abilities as well as allowing them to customize lighting effects. The JBL Quantum One is available via JBL's online and offline retail stores in India for 22,999 rupees. Apple has added a more powerful GPU option to the high-end 16-inch MacBook Pro and also released a new SSD upgrade kit for the new Mac Pro. The MacBook Pro, which was launched with an AMD Radeon Pro 5500M with 8GB GDDR6 VRAM, now allows users to add an AMD Radeon Pro 5600M with 8GB of HP M2 memory. According to Apple, the new GPU option is capable of performing 75% faster than the base model but costs an additional $700 in the US. Meanwhile, the new SSD kit allows Mac Pro users to easily upgrade their internal storage from its original base configuration. Each kit comes with two SSD modules and offers four storage options, 1TB, 2TB, 4TB and 8TB. Indian pricing and availability have not been revealed yet. <laughs> 